there's something exciting happening in the aerospace world globally. UAV, drones, multi-copter, mini helicopter, however you want to call them, you see them more and more. Today we are used to see drones mainly at the tourist spot where people take their holiday pictures or videos. But in the future we see it more and more in the skies, um, taking serious actions and services to everybody. In agriculture, security, inspection or even the way we receive pizzas, drone could play an important role in the future. For these services it's essential that the aircrafts are safe, reliable and allow a long flight time. To achieve all this, the requirements to the components used in the systems are getting more mature and are in the transition from hobbies to more professional. 2018 we started the first development project for a drone motor and controller. The requirements and the language is different than in the standard industries and standard products and we realized we need a steep learning curve to fulfill these um, specifications. From various measurements, um, we find out that uh, the cooling is very important for these motors and for these applications. Uh, here we have uh, made a lot of designs that we have enough cooling inside this motor. And uh, also for the motor design, it's very important that we have a lot of experience from our flat motors. And we can, we can use this experience also for the design and development for the UAV motors. We find out that a lot of different forces have an impact on this UAV motors. For example, gyroscopic forces and uh, forces which comes from the roll movements. And then we decided to develop test equipment for this UAV motors. After we have tested all these UAV motors on our test, e test equipment, we see what we have to improve and we realize then in new redesign updates and uh, make new tests and find out we have a longer reliability for these motors. The requirement for a drone propulsion system also require corresponding tests and measurements. With our test bench, we are able to measure the motor performance in the system with propeller and controller. We measure the power, thrust and torque and other important data that the system can perform. These measurement systems allow us to optimize drone propulsion for our customers. We partnered up with uh, different players in the market. For instance, we had a project with EPFL in Lausanne to have a look at the aerodynamics of a propeller, or we partnered up directly with propeller manufacturer to get these additional know-how we don't have today in the team. Furthermore, we realized during all these discussions that it's not done with the motor only. It's much more than this. It's an entire system and the system approach must be considered carefully. It starts with the propeller selection, the right motor for this propeller and then also the controller and the controller settings. Only with an optimized system you achieve the best possible performance, highest efficiency and longest possible flight time. For this application fields we have seen that uh, a great variety for applications and projects is in the market. Because we are a great motor company and we have great great um, experience in this field. We can work closely internally with different uh, colleagues from the design department, from uh, motor and uh, controller departments and so we can uh, use all the knowledge much better to design and develop the right motor for the customer. We built different samples for customers, different UAV motors, and we sent this to the customers. And uh, the information that we get from the customer is, they are very satisfied with the lifetime from our motors. Right now we have new customer projects in the development phase and deliver new motors soon.